Okay, so today what we're going to have a go at today is um, solving equations with fractions. So, in the first one, it looks hard, but it's actually relatively easy. So, x plus 2, then divide by 7, and the answer is negative 5. So, what we need to do is, first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this divide by 7. The easiest way we're going to uh, get rid of the divide by 7 is we're going to multiply by 7 on both sides. Okay, by doing this, what we're going to effectively do is we're going to be able to cancel out these two sevens here. Okay, so that's going to leave us with x plus 2 equals negative 5 times 7, negative 35. Perfect. Now what we do, we just need to get x on his own. So ultimately we minus 2 on both sides. And by doing that effectively, that's going to give us x equals negative 37. Wonderful. Okay, on the next one, it's a little bit more challenging. What we need to do is we need to get this x minus 3 out of the denominator. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop it in brackets to show that it's a whole part. How do we get rid of a divide by x minus 3? We multiply both sides by x minus 3. Wonderful. And you can now see these two x minus 3s are going to cancel each other out. So now we're going to be left with 5 equals 10 brackets x minus 3. Now what we're going to do, we're going to expand the bracket. So 5 equals 10x minus 30. We want to get x on its own at all times. So to do that, we're going we're gonna to add 30 to both sides. So we need to add 30 here, and we're going to add 30 here. So we're going to be left with 35 equals 10x. Finally, what we're going to do, we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 10. Divide both sides by 10. So we're going to be left with x is 35 over 10, or x, we can simplify that to x is 7 over 2. Okay, perfect. So there we have it.